A boulder based lab has landed a huge payday in its efforts to put the U.S. back on top in microchip design, research and manufacturing. Uh, recent decades, as you know, U.S. chip manufacturing has declined significantly. But as Denver 7's Ethan Carlson shows us, renewed efforts and funding could put the U.S. back in the lead as early as 2030. Exactly how much is a gallon? How long is a second or yard? Easy things to ignore, but measurements are the main reason the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, exists. Almost everything that you do today that relies on some measurement to make it accurate or make it safe probably ties back to NIST. Marla Dowell is the director of the NIST laboratories in Boulder, where one of the many tasks they are responsible for is setting national standards of measurement. Your car wouldn't work without all the calibrations and the measurement technology that we develop here that allows those sensors to operate the way that they should, that in the factory that they can meet the tolerances on machining the door or welding the door to your car, or even um, being able to say a gallon of gas is a gallon of gas. NIST is the only national laboratory in the U.S. that's devoted to supporting U.S. industry, often working directly with companies, helping them develop measurement technologies suitable for their specific needs. And here, they also make time. There's a funny thing about clocks, which is that no one's ever figured out how to make two that will keep exactly the same time forever without being resynchronized. The atomic clock, located inside NIST Boulder, sets the time standards for the world, making things like GPS, cell phones, and Wall Street trading work correctly. Take a bunch of cesium atoms and measure exactly how much they vibrate. Count 9,192,631,770. And after you've counted that high, you've counted exactly one second. Of course, then you have to immediately start counting again because no one wants to count just one second. Forever counting and forever innovating. In fact, in 2022, the Chips and Science Act was passed, injecting $50 billion into the Department of Commerce. I think this is going to be the most important thing I do in my federal career. NIST Boulder will benefit from $11 billion of that fund for research and development, trying to bring back microchip production in the United States. The U.S. government has made four big investments in science and engineering and innovation. The first was the Manhattan Project. The then the moon landing, the human genome, and today Chips for America. An exciting time to be a physicist, especially at NIST Boulder Laboratories. This is really a historical time, and to be involved in this is really a special thing to happen. So something interesting about NIST is they were trying to decide where it was going to be built in 1954, that laboratory. It was actually because of public funding from the people of Boulder that it wound up there. And that laboratory is so fascinating. They do so many different things. You actually found out about something very cool that they're doing. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so they're actually working to see if they can make a breathalyzer to detect cannabis or THC in there. They're just really trying to see if it's actually possible because that molecule of THC is way more complicated than an alcohol molecule and they're not even sure if that's something that they can do yet. Can't wait to see that story. That story airs tomorrow on Denver 7.